Hello everyone and welcome to Terminator's CNC Training Center and our first official video on CNC tool dressing. Now we have here all of our metal diamonds that we're going to use in this video for showing you how to dress your CNC tools. So we have segmented diamond one, coarse diamond two, medium grit diamond three, fine grit diamond four here. We also have our dressing sticks. We have our 80 grit dressing stick, our 120 grit dressing stick, our 240 grit dressing stick, and our 320 grit dressing stick. The 80 grit is primarily used for diamond one, and the starting grit of diamond two, dressing stick 120, is used to finish our diamond two and to begin the dressing of diamond three. 240 grit is to finish our diamond three out and to start with our diamond four. And then our final 320 grit is used to finish out diamond four. In this video, we're going to show you the proper procedure and technique to use on your CNC machine if you do not have an offline dressing machine such as the Terminator CNC offline dressing machine. Okay, now that we've come back, you can see that our tool is spinning and I've got my safety goggles on as a safety precaution. Um, we want to turn the RPM when you're actually doing this at 500 RPM for safety. Uh, you can go up to 1,000, but there's really no need to go over 1,000 RPMs. Uh, all that does is consume your sticks quickly as your surface speed and rim speed of the diamonds uh, obliterate your dressing stick at higher RPMs. So you get more accomplished actually by going slower. So normally when we're dressing, we would have a water trail and the purpose to get this uh, video from splashing water all over our camera, the water trail is going to be like this touching and then we would, you would see the stick coming up and down and you can hear me grinding but I'm not going to try and get the, uh, the camera wet on this occasion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the stick. Uh, if you wanted to do this, you can. You can actually get a bucket of water and just let them sit in the water and then you can proceed to dress the diamond using the pressure up and down, up and down to break that pattern up. You just don't want to do it dry. You notice I've got mud on my stick here. That's all it is, is a slurry of mud. I'll wash that off. By keeping it on the stick, it actually helps us abrade that bond to release the new diamonds. So this goal here is to go focus on your, your, your bottom, not staying in one place at one time, up and down, and then up and down. To release those old diamonds, by abrasion of the bond. So you're not sharpening the diamonds. There's no, you can't sharpen a diamond once it's uh, flat and rounded over. The only thing we can do is abrade the bond, exposing new diamonds as those diamonds fall out. So in this end here, you would rinse your tool off, but again, it's spinning and I'm not going to squirt our camera here, but we would rinse the tool off and you're done. You only other item here is to go back and check. Uh, if you've removed the lines from uh, the diamonds, made the, the flat portion more even, made this, the segment more even, that's our goal here also, is to break up that pattern. So as we finish this one, then we'll move on to our next diamond. Okay, now we're back. We put in our diamond two. Again, it's spinning at 500 RPM. Safety glasses for our safety procedures. And this time we're going to utilize two dressing sticks. We're going to start with our 80 grit dressing stick, and then we're going to finish it off with our 120 grit dressing stick. So the same procedure follows. We don't want to stay in one place too long, and we want to make sure we're moving and only sharpening what we need. If we need to actually dress heavy gouges, heavy lines out, we're going to stick with the 80 grit until that goal has been accomplished only using the 120 grit to finalize and smooth the, the, the bond out. Once you are happy with what you've done with the first stick, 80 grit, we'll move on to our next stick, the 120 grit. Again, I'm gonna soak it a little bit with water and then begin the dressing. To do the final dressing. The final dressing should not take no more than five to 10 seconds.
This is the finished result of what a dressing should look like. So, the details of the finish that we are looking for are a satin, not shiny. The only thing I want to see shining and sparkling are the diamonds in the bond. I do not want the bond to look like nickel, to look like uh, melted metal. If it's super shiny and doesn't have that satin, dull finish, you glaze the bond over with a two course of a grit. It also lets me know the sticks you're using are two course for that diamond bond. Again, the 80 grit didn't do that, and it's the only stick that we utilized on this segmented diamond here. There's no metal, nickel, shiny look to this on diamond one segmented. But if I were to utilize the 80 grit only on this diamond four here, you're gonna get a much shinier surface and deeper color than what you have here. So this is the finish we're looking for to let us know that the tools are dressed properly. I appreciate your time that you've taken today to watch our video. Uh, we look forward to making many more videos with everyone. Thank you from Terminator CNC Training Center.